Hello and welcome to my seventh lecture on biostatistics. I'm going to go over a number needed to treat, or NNT, versus a number needed to harm, or NNH. For the number needed to treat, remember that clinical trials are the only type of study where you're actually intervening or manipulating the exposure or treating the patients or a group of the patients in your study. Remember also that absolute risk reduction was really what we use for uh, calculating data from clinical trials. We weren't really using it for any other kind of study. So what if we could quantify on average how many patients we would need to treat to save an average of one person who would otherwise be harmed for not being treated. And that's the number needed to treat. So that we use by calculating one over the absolute risk reduction. And an example of this is it's I take I took it from the previous lecture. In a randomized clinical trial, patients in the group treated with drug X have a 5% risk of developing a disease versus 15% of the control group. So remember that we calculated the absolute risk reduction as 0.10. So you're dividing one by absolute risk reduction and you're getting 10. So 10 people would need it to be treated to save an average of one person who would otherwise be harmed by not being treated. As for number needed to harm, so just remember you would never manipulate a study to harm someone. That's unethical. So you can't use this for clinical trial data because clin in clinical trials it's unethical to harm someone. So just remember though in observational studies we do observe exposure versus non-exposure and in cohort diseases a certain amount of people uh, usually who are exposed do get the disease. So it's possible that so many could be exposed to a risk factor that we could quantify how many would need to be exposed to that to cause damage to an average of one person who wouldn't otherwise be harmed. And we get this by dividing 1 over the attributable risk. Remember, <clears throat> we use the attributable risk to attribute uh, a disease, the disease outcome on to exposure in cohort studies. So my example, again, I, take, I took it from lecture 6, which is in a small study of 500 patients, 300 are exposed to purple light. Of the exposed, 150 develop purple dots, and of the unexposed, 10 develop purple dots. So in the previous lecture 6, I calculated the attributable risk as 0.45. So to find the number needed to harm, I would just divide 1 by 0.45. And now we've reached the end of my lecture. Please watch and like my other videos and also subscribe to my channel.